Welcome to another edition of the AlterEgos.com training tutorial videos. In today's discussion, we are going to talk about how to update the software library location from the console. The software library, in all honesty, is just a repository or location or directory on your network that is the centralized point of reference for the software that you manage within your organization. A package that is sourced by the software library is called a managed package. And what we need to do is we need to enable the management platform products to access the software library. And that's what we're going to discuss today. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to configure that, which is going to be the first step in being able to show all the products and all the solutions within the uh, console where these managed packages are. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got a directory that we can point to. And what I've done prior to this video is I went ahead and I set up a directory called library on my notification server. It doesn't really have to be on the notification server, but I went ahead and did that. The exact location would be from a URL perspective would be the name of my notification server. In this particular case, NS7 demo, then NS cap, then library. So now that we've defined that, let's go ahead and show you how you get to the location within the console to set this up. First thing I want to do is go to settings all settings then we'll go from there down to software I'll go ahead and close this so we can see it we'll go software and we'll go software software catalog and software library settings and then we have a software library location I've already got that selected here and if you look over in the right hand pane, you'll see that we've got the field to type in the UNC path for a shared directory for this notification server in order to use the software library for storing software packages. The, as it says, the directory must already exist and must be accessible from the notification server. So let's go ahead and enter this in. And the way we'll enter it in is Now once I've entered that location in, I want to click on my validate button to make sure. It lets me know that the software library path is valid. And now what I do is I save my changes. And that that is how easy it is to take and create the software library location. Thank you, and please come back and join us for more videos, tutorials on using the Alteris products. Thank you, and have a great day.